All right, folks, it's another attack of opportunity from your RPG archivist. Yeah, I was just uh, sitting down watching TV and I realized, oh, wait a minute. I have the house to myself. I could do another quick uh, film. This is something I've been wanting to do. Uh, this is the Thunderlock Bar Crawl. From this book here, Rolled and Told, Volume 1. As far as I know, nobody's reviewed this. I, this isn't a review of the book. This is a review of the adventure in the book. I like that color. Really nice. Yeah, so what is this? It is a level one adventure, or an early level adventure. I'm not really sure. Somewhere in here it says what levels it's supposed to be. I'm, I'm almost certain it does. But I can't remember. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Character level one to four. Uh, it's a booger bear, guys, but it's not... Uh, it's it's a nerfed booger bear. How do I explain this? Okay. The point of this adventure is that these uh, two famous adventurers, um, a dwarf and a, and, a, and a wizard, they came together to start a tavern. They have a practice dungeon for, for um, adventurers. And it's tough. It's real tough. Uh, but it's a good tough. It's the kind of tough I like. Now, I'm going to give one criticism about this uh, adventure, though. I want to go over here. There's your map. It's a gorgeous map. really like the map. They could have done a little bit more with the, the hexes. Not the hexes, the little grids. They could have done more with grids if they really wanted to. Not that kind of adventure, though, but look where the map is. Look at this. The map's in the middle of the book. Not well thought out. But I'm not sure the purpose of this book is, is really to... I, this is really to chronicle previous uh, issues of uh, Rolled and Told. Apparently it's a comic book. I'd never heard of it. I just saw this on a shelf. I saw the cover, said, that's a neat cover. I picked it up, and I saw there was a level 1 adventure in there. And I wanted something interesting for my players to start off with when I start running Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. I've already ran my players through this adventure. First thing you're going to do if you're going to use the book... Redraw the map. I'm serious. The, um, flipping back and forth through the book is a is is just tough. Redraw the map. Get yourself some graph paper. Re redraw it. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate. I made the rooms a little large, I think, but that's okay. It worked out. So, how far did my players get? They got here. They, got, they managed to make it through Dodgers Hall. They almost had a TPK here. Flip over here. Here's the hub. And then they all died. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, it, it, was, it was rough. Had a party of four. Let's see. Did I have it written down? Probably not. I hear the lawnmower outside close cutting off. That means that somebody's going to be walking in that door any minute. I'm going to see if I can't finish this up faster. Um, show you some of this. So, this is a good kind of hard. Let's think about it. You're trying to build a practice dungeon. And you want people to go in there and you want it to be a challenge. Now, the, the whole purpose of this practice dungeon isn't actually to make money. It's to get new adventurers acclimated to the dangers of dungeon delving. That's Patches, by the way. Hi, Patches. <laughs> 
And um, man, it's a it's a tough one. So my key, my players. Let me show you on the good map. My players went through here, and they almost didn't make it. Uh, this is the called the Dodgers Hall. I'm not going to do too many spoilers here, but any dungeon master wanting to run this game, write out a flow chart. When you read the adventure, you will know what I'm talking about. Do not open the book thinking you're going to run the adventure right out of the book. There goes my dog. I'm going to ignore him because he's stupid. Okay, um, yeah, this was almost a TPK. Fortunately, we got a medicine cabinet walking with the party in the form of a cleric who joined us at the last minute. And he kept him going up to, up to this uh, hub area. And they looked in here. They looked in here. Uh, by the way, spoilers, guys. If you're looking at this map and you want to be a player, spoilers. I'm a little late for that, I know. I probably should have gave a heads up before. Yeah, my players didn't get... Technically didn't get halfway through the through the adventure. It looks like halfway it's not. It's maybe, maybe a third is being... Um, a third of the way is being generous. So, in this practice dungeon, you're effectively getting knocked out uh, and teleported through magic... Don't tell your players that, at least not right away. <laughs> oh, this is a whole other adventure. We, that's how far I got in the book. I didn't even read the read from that point on. So this is how I started my uh, my adventure. Um, I'm just gonna open this up. So in my world, which is Faerun, and this is where everybody goes for fifth edition gaming now, apparently. Not a complaint, just an observation. Uh, the Thunderlock Bar Crawl is in Neverwinter. It's a Dragon of Ice Spire Peak Adventure. I wish they had more information on Neverwinter in, in, in these. Because Neverwinter is an interesting little city in and of itself. and It's kind of left up to the Dungeon Master to make stuff up. Fortunately, I'm good at making stuff up. So they went through the uh, Thunderlark, uh, Thunder, Thunderlock Bar Crawl, got their rear ends served to them, <laughs> and then were met, met by uh, Sildar Hallwinter. He's an NPC I was using. He's in the uh, Lost Mine of Phandalin. I don't know if he's in Dragon of Ice Spire Peak yet. He may or may not be, I don't know, but uh, I used him to recruit the uh, player characters to go to Fandolin because the last party that went to Fandolin, they did a good job, they were very competent, but they've kind of disappeared. Yeah, and that's going to be something that's going to happen. They're going to find out more about that, maybe, maybe, maybe not, because that group is going to continue their adventure as well. So I have ideas for them. Uh, evil ideas. <laughs> um, this isn't a book review, but I do want to comment on the cover. This is a nice cover. It's, it's evocative, but it's definitely original. There's nothing... There's nothing that looks like this. And uh, the color choices are interesting. They really like the lavender, which... I, it's a nice color. I like it. And... Um, this is one of these, um, this is, this is something I like to do. Uh, I put my materials for the adventure inside a nice, one of these plastic, um, folders. Done the same with, uh, Dragon of Ice Spire Peak here. In fact, I got the entire, um, little essentials kit rule book in here as well. You guys might want to do that. I've done that with a lot of my modules as well. So, 
that's the quick uh, quick review. Sorry if it sounded rushed, because it was. <laughs> uh, because I know at any moment somebody's gonna walk through that door and interrupt me. If it's not the dog, it's the people. And uh, okay, um, I think I covered pretty much everything. Uh, I do plan to make a proper review of the entire book. Again, don't hold your breath. Because, uh, you know, plate full, blah, blah, yada, yada. Uh, I'm a really slow reader, and I like watching videos. So, <laughs> this is your RPG Archivist. See ya.